bums and brigands welcome back to gone rogue last time a whole scheme to get andrew out of his current predicament kind of went up in thin air because the bribe's not gonna work anymore so now we have a new scheme we're gonna break andrew out of prison but before we do that we have to stage a little bit of sabotage over at the local power plant also in the interim i went ahead and got a new perk which is proven tool that makes all my stuff a little bit faster as it loses durability speaking of durability Another thing that happened in the interim between videos is there was an update. There's actually been a few, but this is the only one that really is mad. Factory worker has changed. Before, as you may recall, after I got done with the mission, all my tools would just be repaired, as long as I didn't use them up completely. Now it works a little more like, uh, let's see, what was that skill I had in the pickpocketing? This whole precision thing. Where whenever I use a thing and I get done with the break-in, then it just has a 50% chance not to lose durability. So it's sort of a side grade. It's a little vexing that they changed the game after it's released to rebalance it, but uh, whatever. It is what it is. And you know, this isn't all bad. You can get more break-ins with your tools using this. I'm also not sure if this stacks with precision, but uh, we'll figure it out, maybe. Anyway, moving along to the power plant. We have several people on site. Most of them are civilians except for one. So Robin Hood's going to be really strong here. There's many security systems, several steel doors and saves, uh, four security cameras, three computers, and two doggos and a partridge in a pear tree. There's also uh, code locks. Anyway, for specializations, we'll still be taking factory worker. We're going to bring leader of the pack because there's doggos. Scout, of course, we're bringing. Uh, although I wonder if I really need scout, being that everyone is not going to care that I'm around. Either way, we'll have it. It doesn't matter. Uh, Witch Doctor is tempting, but I'm going to take Rookie. And what else do I want? Do I want anything else? That's a nice ability, but it's not really super necessary. Oh yeah, Robin Hood. Silly me. That is the other thing. Civilians pay no attention to Jack. Like I said, uh, there's only one guy who is not a civilian on this map. So you have nothing to worry about. It's great. Let's go ahead and bring some lad. Bring the EMP pistol. Uh, let's bring that second breath there. Let's bring a brainstem. All of them have two uses. We'll just bring that one. And we'll bring a melancholy as well. Uh, and more lot. You can never go wrong with more lot. As far as our tools, we'll go ahead and bring a couple lockpicks. We'll bring our new fancy electric lockpick. Which is not really for locks. It's for, of course, electronic dealies. <laughs> it's known as the electric short circuit. Don't stick your fingers in it. You won't like the consequences. Uh, hydraulic cutter, and also our electric drill. Uh, I can still get more. I do need to bring an access card. Thanks for reminding me. Anyway, that'll be good. Let's go and get in there. Power station. The electrification of the city is proceeding at an enormous pace, and the small power plant is no longer able to satisfy the needs of the entire population. So your main goal is to feed electricity to the West Corridor, causing, you know, a brownout, effectively. Uh, additional goals are to hack the electronical switches in all the rooms of the power plant. Now keep an eyeball, we have three large turbines out here, six chimneys. Also five fingers on this monumental front. Why would Lethal be mentioning all these numbers? I'm sure it'll be relevant eventually. Maybe, maybe not. We'll find out. Anyway, let's take a look at this place before I go charging in here. We have all of this sprawling complex to go through. And there's a lot of it. A lot of it we can't see because of undisclosed reasons. We have this portion out here. If you want to go across the universe, there's a free set of rusty lockpicks there. There's a waker. What else we have over here? Not a whole lot outside. We have some trucks that we can steal stuff from. This one is one you do not want to forget, as it is the fanciest of them all. I mean, it's black. If it's black, it's fancy. Also, I never noticed they had six wheels until just now. There's also, like, a basement area you can go into. All sorts of avenues you can take. There's alarms. We're not going to worry about all that. Because we could go through a alarm town, or we could go over here. Right through another window. There's a lot of uh, security holes in this particular clown box. There we go. There's our new factory worker in action. Didn't lose any durability. We 
can go up and climb here up on the roof. I love when I can do this. It's great. So let's go ahead and break into here. There's going to be some additional cameras that, of course, our friend did not tell us about. Sound activated cameras. Let's jump through here. We want to use our brain stems right here. You don't have to, but I am on a schedule. So we're going to stay on schedule, okay? Break on through here. Now, if you didn't have Robin Hood, you may see there's a vision cone coming up the stairs. You could dive right into this bathroom or you could wait over here. I want to get this stuff done as quickly as possible. So we're going to run down here. How you doing there, Frank? Good day over the plant. And we're going to go in here and get this open. The reason I want to get in here as quickly as possible is there's a camera app here that also is on a schedule. And I want to beat it out. There you go. We have beaten it out. That thing that we just toggled, by the way, controls all of these laser beams across the galaxy. And our next task is to get through all of those, which isn't going to be much of a problem. This guy thankfully cannot see me, you know, playing with this from the other side. Go and play with this computer while he is about his business. Could use brain sims here, but it shouldn't actually be necessary. Because he doesn't look at me, and he can't hear me. There's a little pitter patter of my clicks on the keyboard. Not loud enough. So what do we got here? Messages. A friendly advice from Doofy to Stefan. Don't be jealous that Rosa predicted my promotion and not yours. This is Rosa the fortune teller. See, it's all interwoven. You should be. You should have heeded my advice and taken the decoction of the, you know, miraculous placebo root. But it's not too late to fix it. I have multiple balls of tinctures stashed in the pantry. You can drink my tinctures now, but be sure to get some for yourself from Rosa later. It might be a little pricey, but don't worry. As soon as you get that new high-paying job, you'll get double the money back. It's an investment. New boss. We got lucky with the boss again. He was transferred from some research institute. He's just obsessed with science. He's trying to push his innovations and latest developments everywhere because of his innovations. The power plant has already stopped twice. Even the Secret Service came out to inspect it. Because of that, they have changed the usual door codes. It was said that this is to help prevent possible sabotage, which could happen in the future. I don't know. We had to memorize a new code. First and third numbers correspond to the number of large outside generators. The second number is all the chimneys on the roof. And well, the last number every time reminds us of the monument, <laughs> monument rather, at the front entrance. So in case you didn't get all that, the number is three for the number of large generators, six for the number of chimneys, three again for the number of generators, and then finally five for the number of fingers on that monument out front as a raised fist. Anyway, Last thing I want to do is turn off all those laser beams, which are, you know, throughout this particular section. It's a very, very, you know, important section. So I can find the storage room. That's right. Yeah, good. Can break my picks there like that. Get some goodies. This section is much easier without, uh, with Robin Hood, of course. If you need the duck out of window, you can. You can hide in the spaces here. Not a big problem. Five minutes, oh my goodness. Lethal, what are you doing? You're crazy. Gonna be fine, probably. Gonna break in here. Main reason we're coming in here is for this guy right here, which is our electric switcher. Also, you might be tempted to take this acid because acid's great. If you have, if you're not dependent on Robin Hood, go ahead. Uh, but of course, if I take that and he sees it, I'm going to lose my Robin Hood edge. Also, if you didn't have Robin Hood, you want to go over here and actually get this open. Why don't we do so? See anyone outside? This. You going to hear this? Nope. Good. You'd want to open this before you fiddle with this, only because... Ow. I don't know why you'd want to fiddle with that. Go ahead and turn that off. And while he's filling that, why don't we go down here, shall we? There's also a gas mask right there, I think. Yeah, a gas mask, just in case they have some sort of terrorist attack on the uh, on the old power plant. Free solder and iron. I will take that, put it in the pocket. 
This is the basement. There's not really a whole lot going on down here, but it exists. A lot of laser beams down here. They're uncircumventable unless you're on the other side of them. Let's see. I can't remember where this goes. Where are you going, Jackie? Get your butt back here. This will bring us back to the entrance. We might as well go through here. I think there's a... No, I guess there isn't a code lock on this side. Well, let's go ahead and just break this open with the cutters. There you go. Why don't we head back and get those tinctures out we were told about, eh? Free vodka here if you want some. Might as well. Nothing to worry about down here. No one ever goes down here except for the rats. The computer did not deceive me. There really are some tinctures stashed here. Like I I actually don't think I said. These do not exist unless you read from the computer, which is bullshit. They're Schrodinger's tinctures. I hate it. Anyway, now we're done with that, we need to head over to a particular push. Okay, we're safe. Got a little spooked there. Was all, I don't think that thing can see that far. I can't. Anyway, let's go ahead and head back up here. And head over here. Head through the window. I'm not sure why I showed the circle back there. I'm sure it has its reasons. Alright, let's wait for the camera. Come on, camera. Actually, no, it's not going to go. It's sound activated. I'm a little stupid, okay? So, you could, if you want to get to the main power plant. You can go through this top entrance. It's not too hard, and I'll show you a little more detail later. But you can go ahead and, like, get into this room. Jump out here onto the roof with the six chimneys. Go through this, and then go through this side. I don't like to do that. It's a pain in my butt. We'll be playing with that camera later anyway. Hey there, Frank. How you doing? Still visiting, just, uh, you know, sightseeing. Frank doesn't mind. Let's go and get in here. Thankfully, I know Frank is upstairs now, so I don't have to worry about him. Ted, don't you hear a thing, okay? There's also a guy who wanders around down here. This is the first time you've seen this particular area. This is ultimately where, where we need to go for our main goal. We need to interact with this particular control panel. And you'll see it takes a little bit of doing to get over there. There's another entrance to the basement if you want to take it. Free checkpoint. I love it. Uh, whether you're using Robin Hood or not, I like to toggle this. Just because it gets this guy out of position. Then you don't have to worry about him just turning around seeing you doing your naughty business. Your dirty, sinful business. There we go. It's another one of those. This guy upstairs who has been alerted. And if you did not have Robin Hood, you'd probably want to put on the brakes right now. But since we do. Hey there, Williams. How you doing? All right. So I'm not sure which one he's going to. Which one are you going to? Okay. He's not going to this one. This over here is where we need to go through. There are three laser beams in case you are blind. <laughs> we need to interact with at least two of these since I have an EMP pistol. Three of them if you had to do all these. If you don't have this particular skill as far as the... Uh, where is it? This one right here, the electronics engineer. I don't know how you're supposed to get through this, to be honest. Because these things turn off very quickly, as you're about to see. So let's go ahead and get to, sh get to work, shall we? There we go, that's one of them. Let's wait for Williams to go about his business. Come on, Williams. Williams, please. Probably go and toggle this one again just to be on the safe side. There we go. And now, let's go ahead and use our electronic pistol. I'm not sure if Williams is going, going to run Christmas if he sees me shoot this, but uh, let's just not put that variable in there. Also, I'm not sure if you can hit the wrong laser with your uh, EMP pistol. I'm not going to try it either. <laughs> All right, let's just go ahead and sit on the stairs for just a moment, Jacko. There you go. Let's get down here. We have a camera that swivels constantly, because why wouldn't we? We want to interact with this computer for a very specific reason. Other than you can read this new boss message again if you've missed it before. We want to turn off those lasers on the door that we used to get in here. <laughs> Otherwise, we're trapped. Very important. Thankfully, they don't lock that computer. I guess they figured... 
You know, figure no one's gonna come down here. Not much else to grab from down here. We're just gonna turn this off. We're gonna swoop over here. Let's go and get what's in here, Jacko. There's nothing in here. It's just an empty, you know, middle finger locker. There's some free gin up there. Speaking of gin, I don't know where the fairy gin is. Uh, for the smuggling mini mission, submission, subquest, side quest. I don't know if it's in the next mission or if we somehow missed it. If I have somehow missed it, we'll go ahead and have another episode to figure out what that is. Probably. Aha! All those darkness perks, man. You can't go wrong with them. I could also just be patient, but what it would be even the sense? What would be the sense in being patient? Now we've done the main thing we've come here for. It's time to start lifting things that aren't ours, all right? Do -do. Hey there, Williams. How you doing? I'm a good boy. See, I'm a good boy. I'll do naughty things, Williams. What do you think, huh? You think I'm some kind of criminal? I'm very nice, Williams. All right, let's take some second breath. Look at my concentration. Let's wait for Williams to go about his business. I want to get in this. And then we'll go ahead and get out of here. There's nothing in this particular lock over here. Because why would there be? Why would there be something in that lock? Now it's just something to ruin your durability with. And your day. We'll get some more dowry dues here. Alright. Why don't we sit down the basement? And then we'll go ahead and head over to another place. What are you doing, eh? Grab some scrap. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, great. Well, hopefully that doesn't fuck me. It probably will. You did see that he came over here. Hopefully he doesn't see that's missing. Oh, well, we'll see if it happens. This will be part of science. And if it does, then we'll just roll with it. All right. Open the hatch. My damn sticky fingers. Picking up everything I see. It's gonna bite me in the ass someday. Oh, we got? We got some ashes. I going to say there's a free electronic drill if you want one. Might as well take one. I've worth some good money. Some canned food. You can turn off the lights for this place, but who cares? Who flipping cares? Uh, let's go ahead and use one of these electronic drills, shall we? Oh. That one's impossible to break. I have to go through the other side. Whoa, poop. For some reason, I forgot they had a code lock on the other side. It'll be fine. All right, well, anyway, let's get out of this sticky predicament before that happens. That's just, uh, that's just Frank again. Nothing to worry about there. Where do I want to head next? I want to head over to this area over here. I think. I'm down, Frank. Or Frank. Excuse me. Do I have enough time to get over here? We're going to play it. We're going to play it wild. What does that say? We'll see what it says in just a moment. In the room. Everyone belongs to everyone else. Anyway, you want to come in here. Because there are two skill books. Doing it for yourself. And also cognitive electronics. Great things. And they're free, so you might as well take them. Eh, I can probably get over there. I don't think Frank's going to see me before it's uh, a bad moment. Don't see me, Frank. Don't see me, Frank. He didn't see me. Good. But what are you doing? And <laughs> just spinning around the doorway. Oh, there's the snitch. You may have caught him actually entering the building. Guy just, you know, taking a snooze there. You know, sometimes you gotta do that. I understand. Didn't break my lockpicks. An angel gets swings. Go ahead and get some money. There's another locker that is full of jack shit right there. I'm not saying, you know, shit for jack. Go ring. Nothing else really getting here. You might be tempted to pickpocket people. Don't do it. It's a bad idea. Anyway. Let's get out of this room. I do want to take that painting before we leave. Okay, good. Thankfully, they don't get mad at doors, you know, opening and closing whenever, uh... Whenever you're not a great person. Go ahead and use some lot here. There's a lot of things we can open. I'm gonna open this. Jack, please stop being fucking stupid. It's very challenging for him. 
Some more brain stems, a gasoline lighter, and some lighter rather, and some uh, food stamps. I'm bringing some lard to the table. Let's go ahead and use our drill. Just thing, it is kind of BS that I can't go through those code lock doors, but uh, whatever, right? All right, I, used, I lost some uh, some stuff there. Let's go ahead and use one of these. Uh, second breath. Very good. Actually, did I pick that stuff up? I did. Oh, that's fine. I'll show you a feature. Might as well show you a feature, right? Do I want to do the upstairs section? Now we can do this one first. Let's do this one first. Anyway, here's a feature I really haven't used too much. If you wanted to drop things and pick them up later, you can. The game doesn't have any consequences, so I'm just going to leave this gold ingot right here in the middle of this uh, courtyard or whatever it is. Also, some telephones. I think they're going to look out here later and go, what the hell? Let's see what's in here. All right. I, is he getting up? He's sitting down. Perfect. Let's go and get jacked in here. Do, 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 do. Let's go and use this box here. We need to get through this laser beam. This guy, of course, is not going to care unless, of course, uh, a certain thing is seen. Hopefully it does not get seen. I don't want to get creative. Go ahead and go this way, shall we? Yeah, use the good thing. Come on. Come on, Jacko. Oh. It's all right. We'll be back here later. Excuse me, sir. There's a book up here, and I would love to have that particular book. Of course, we have a friendo who's patrolling this place. And uh, he will notice its absence. So we don't want to go ahead and fuck with that just yet. I believe he'll go in that room next. Get some freebies out of there. Let's take that. You can keep your microscope. You can keep your wire cutters too. I don't really care for those. Anything in here? Is it empty? There's a big old battery pack. Might as well take that. Alright, let's let him do his business. And then I'm going to go and work on this. We also have another hatch, because why wouldn't we have another hatch? Come on, you. Now, even though that dog is on a different level than I am, I, I'm almost certain it'll hear me mess with this. Also, there's a new crowbar out there if you are in, in the market for one. Man, that's fast. All right. Okay, I didn't think he was going down there. He's going to go and try those light switches. Not a big problem. We have more scrap metal over here. Some more bolt cutters. In case we want some bolt cutters. Might as well take them. Another chance to get our electronics up. Go and use the solder and iron. Since there's no sense of urgency. I love that. So nice. So nice. Alright, that's all taken care of. Looks at the clock. 23 minutes. We got time. I think we can do this in one episode. Hopefully it doesn't get interesting soon. We should probably do this before I forget. Let's go ahead and throw down a save here. We have this gentleman in here. And uh, I would like to mess with all his things and his stuff. But unfortunately, he's sort of in a bad position for this. So we're going to go ahead and just, you know, make him feel bad about life. Who bit me? I don't know. Oh, yeah. We can't get... We don't have that act, uh, hack security card anymore. I will just clue you in that there's just another copy of that thing that tells us the door codes. Uh, so we're not going to worry about that. Now that he's all melancholianized, he doesn't care. Hopefully that guy does not see my little footy print, so I'm going to have to vamoose out the windows. What else we got here? Things. Also, I probably shouldn't have taken that. Oh, if it happens, it happens. My damn sticky fingers, I tell you what, guys. Uh, that should be fine. We got a lot of time before he starts caring about life again. So it's not a big problem. I'll take your hat. Let's see, anything else? Maybe I should take that other thing. Let's take the jacket, too. You never know when you might need a good jacket. Could be cold out tonight. 
All right. There's all of our junk. Speaking of junk, well, why don't we leave some junk in this truck? Oh, please. Anything else? Uh, we could leave those. Yeah, I don't think it's that necessary. Let's keep this train moving. I want to get this done in 30 minutes. All right, this particular window is an asshole. There's a camera here that does a double peek. I'm not sure if that's its first or second peek, so we're going to go ahead and throw down a save. We should be safe just to jump in here. Let's jump around across the room. Across the room, Jacko. Jacko, what are you doing? He's trying to upset me. And it's waking. So that does a double peek, then it goes away for a bit. Uh, so you don't need to worry about it for a while. Good, good. We have a camera over here that swivels a bit, but it's not really a big problem. All the lights are out now, of course. I did note that we did get our last electrical switch. There is one outside also that you could mess with, which is right there. Just turns off the street lighting, which, whatever. There's no reason to really go outside unless you want those picks. All right, let's get into this room. And completes all the same code throughout the entire place, which seems like a really bad security flaw. Whatever. I'm not pen testing this place. The power of time. Go ahead and lift everything we can. What we got in here? We got ourselves a nice metal. Hopefully you can't hear my Roomba downstairs breaking your immersion. I love how I can see that through the floor. All right, so that thing is no longer a problem. Well, he's doing his business over there. Why don't we go ahead and see what's in there, okay? I'm really hoping that we don't lose our Robin Hood. But it's bound to happen. That's empty. I forgot. Another food stand for our boil. Probably would be a better idea to go through this side, huh? Those lockpicks still holding on. Just in case we do lose Robin Hood, I want to be smart about this. So this no longer has an alarm. I was also connected to this. And I need to get in there next. So let's go ahead and throw down a lod. Throw down a brain stem. Stem, excuse me. Again, just in case. We'll have a false sense of urgency here. There's a cam- I don't think that's actually a camera, it's just one of those, uh, you know, faux cameras. Just in case, right? That should be out of his hearing range. More brain stems, always good. Alright, I think we're done here too. Bye-bye. Alright. Yeah, I think that's all that's in there. We can steal another phone. I think we're good on phones, but... Let me grab this, and we'll take a look at this camera, see if I can get its timing. Very easy to become complacent. There's one. I'm guessing that is the first of the two. I believe there's some nice stuff in there, too. We'll probably pick that up. Come on. I know you got another one in you. Let's just fast forward time. It'll be faster that way. Maybe that was the second one. All right, so there's the first. There it is. Okay, so they did find that that was missing. I expected that to happen. That's fine. Jacko, please, you're being stupid. Oh, it's empty, okay. We got all the time in the world, so let's go ahead and just wait again. And I'll see what's in the desk. Just because I don't trust Jacko to take a sweet time opening and massaging the door. There's also a nice stain over there, I'd like no good. Also, I should probably take that, but we don't need a lockpick right now, so let's do this. Silver ring. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Take the phone. And get the hell out. There you go. Alright. So that's all good. And now we've made this last portion a little interesting, but probably not too bad. Do I want to take this stuff? No, we can always pick up this stuff later. I did want to go ahead and take uh, another second breath. Let me make sure that... Let me check if it actually has two uses on it. Or if it's one. Ah, it's only one. Should I do it? You know what? Screw it. Just use it. 
I will need to break in here. All right. That's just a camera down the hallway. We really haven't gone through this hallway, so we might as well look at it. We got a camera right there. There's one of these things. I'm not sure that look at you if you make noise around them. Hood. I've never gone through that way. Seems like a bad idea. Why would you why would you have a bad idea, right? I think I'm well, it would be close. I might be able to go in there. Oh actually, I'm just here for the book, aren't I? I can probably sweep in there now. Let's wait for him. He's going to be over on this side, right? No, he's not. Uh, excuse me? Why can't you, uh... Why are you being silly? Do you just not have enough power to do it? I'm confused. One moment. One moment. I have my electric lockpick. It has durability. Why are you being weird? Oh. Oh. I'm stupid. That's what the reason is. <laughs> I should have known. I'm fucking stupid. Well, why can't I hack this? Well, you already hacked it, numb nuts. Oh, go go back the other way. Okay, that's still locked. We'll go we'll go the safe way. We'll go with a nice safe way. He's going to notice those things are missing. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Also, I left some, uh, some lot here. I'm stupid. There's a little part of my cunning, cunning scheme to outsmart myself. As I often have to do. 31 minutes, 50 seconds. Damn it. So damn slow. Oh. Well. I don't break this one up. It's not 40 minutes yet, but it's getting close. There's one last thing I'd like to actually get into. Let me make sure. Where is the snitch? I don't see the snitch anywhere. Okay, he's all the way over there. Don't need to worry about him. Anyway, I'm glad I got you taken care of. You know, you're probably what fucked me. You probably know it's that cologne was got. I didn't really look. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let's go over here. Let's uh, jump out this window. I would like to get that one opened up just so I can get some free stuff. How are we looking at weight? We got a lot. Let's pick up everything that's down here, especially that gold bar. There it is. And the battery pack. How am I looking now? Alright, I have like one pound left. One kilo, excuse me. Let me get the right times. Let's jack this open just so we get a little more stuff. Yeah, it's just a dog. There is a rotating trash can bastard out there, as they are typically known. Now, just in case I fuck this up at the end, go and use our saves. Making, of course, all the noise. We can't go overweight now that I think of it. I should have picked up the other things. Oh, well, doesn't matter. There's going to be plenty of stuff for us to pick up out here. There's a freaking gold necklace in there. Three food stampos. Where you going, Jackie? Why are you doing stupid stuff, huh? Just trying to emulate my hero lethal. I know. Alright. Where's our friend the snitch? The snitch is nowhere to be seen. How am I doing on weight? We're 51. I did take the uh, the pike, right? <laughs> the specialization, as it were. Yes, I did. Good. Good, good, good. Let's not upset the doggo. Ah, there comes the snitch. No, wait, that's just the worker. Although, I will have to watch out for him now. I'm really overextending myself here. For riches, you know, you gotta do it. There's nothing in this one. It's another middle finger, as there are so many. Where you going, Jack? Jacko? Jacko, I swear to God. Put my foot right up your ass. Why are you pathfinding the wrong direction? He's like, I gotta, I gotta be exposed. I wanna, I wanna be seen. Alright, that's gotta be the snitch coming. We got some motor oil, some other stuff. Let's take all that. Can I actually move? I think so. 
That's the snitch. Run like the Dickens. <laughs> Walk like the Dickens. Uh, probably get there at about the same time the doggo is out of the picture. Let's take all that garbage. Move, Jacko. Er, 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 come on. Come on, baby. Jacko's going at Mach. At the, as fast as he can go. There's a little doghouse over there. I never noticed. There we go. It took a little bit of trundling, but we made it. And good. I'm over 90% lockpicking, which was the main concern I had. All right. All right, 90 lock picking, 68 rough breaking, 70 pickpocketing, 78 electronics. Almost there on the thief mastery. Oh, yeah. I, actually, I forgot paintings. Fuck, you piece of trash. Well, I got, I got, I got enough paintings. There was the painting in the, uh, in that one hallway upstairs I wanted to pick out. It was like 30 state dollar dues. I'll survive with that, I guess. Anyway. Yeah, continue the missions. Complete the missions, excuse me. Anyway, next time, we're gonna head to prison. We're gonna get our buddy out of there, and I will agonize over what we're gonna do in the interim. It'll probably be a very short interim. Why is that thing on fire outside? Was that on fire outside always? Probably. Anyway, I'll see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.